Well, hello there! I've recently been messing around with satellite and space debris tracking data. That was inspired by conversations with Victoria Keddy, who has been visiting at UC Davis this week. I'm linking her website in the description below. She also pointed me at the website where I downloaded these tracking data, space-track.org, linked in the description as well. When I went through the object catalog for low Earth orbit objects, I noticed a whole bunch of starling satellites. I knew SpaceX have been shooting them into orbit for the last couple of years, and that there were some controversies around that, but I hadn't really been paying attention. So I was surprised that there are now 2405 of them up there, and this is what their orbits look like. I should mention that the satellite sizes are vastly exaggerated in this visualization. Those spheres have radii in excess of 10 kilometers. In reality, the satellites are only a couple of meters across at most, and they would be invisible at this scale. I'm also speeding up their movement by a factor of 100, otherwise it would be hard to see that they're moving at all at this scale. They are zipping around at about 17,000 miles per hour, but keep in mind that Earth is really, really big. It takes each of them around 90 minutes to complete one orbit. Earth's rotation, of course, is also sped up by a factor of 100 here, so it would take almost 15 minutes for a full revolution in this visualization. The first 1,000 or so satellites were all placed in orbits of 53 degrees inclination, and that's why there is this white belt of them around Earth, extending from 53 degrees south to 53 degrees north. But then they placed three of them at an inclination of 97.5 degrees, chasing each other on the same orbit. Those are these three, which I guess are meant to provide internet service to the Arctic and to Antarctica. Following those three were a couple dozen with 70 degree inclination, which are these here, and then they went back to 53.2 degrees for the remaining 1000 plus of them. I'm guessing the 70 degree deployment was abandoned halfway through, given that those orbits are all bunched together on one hemisphere. Of course, Earth would be rotating underneath them, but still, you get my drift. Anyway, that was the Starlink satellite constellation. What I was really looking for was the entire catalog of low Earth orbit objects, and there are a bunch more of those. Here they all are, still showing the Starlink satellites in purple. There are so many of them, 6660 to be precise, that I can no longer draw their orbits or it would look like a solid ball of twine. For the tinfoil headers in my audience, that number is 10 times 666, and I'm sure you will come up with lots of fun explanations for that factoid, and let me hear all about them in the comments. Finally, let me address the grey robot in the room. Was it really beneficial for this presentation to record it in virtual reality? And the answer is no. But then it's what I do, and I've been spending lots of time on it recently, so you'll just have to deal with it. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.